Hi, this is Nelda from Gift Elements and today we're going to discuss something quite interesting and that is how to decorate your flat or your apartment uh, using a Chesterfield sofa. This is a very classic piece of furniture. A lot of people still love it. I love it very much and this is in the classic leather brown. Um, but I, I see a lot of photos and I see people still struggle with how to include the Chesterfield into a modern decor and especially how to fit it nicely into a you know, small apartment space like this. This is a standard BTO executive flat uh, floor plan. Um, dimensions are you know, more or less um, of the BTO uh, exec executive flat dimensions and floor plans. So um, that you know that you can always use the Chesterfield um, in any place, in any decor, right? It's quite versatile, even though it's uh, vintage. So whenever you are at a loss on how to, um, you know, decorate your home, then you always need to uh, go back to the basics. So in terms of the Chesterfield, it's vintage. It looks larger than life. It's quite classical. So you need to look uh, back into the uh, 20th century. You maybe invoke libraries and art galleries and um, you know, you might think about smoking room and tea rooms and even Lara Croft or Indiana Jones. And you may want to, you know, imbibe in a sense of, of adventure in your interior decor. So um, before I start, of course, um, you know, putting things in the room, I always need to think about the color scheme. So this is the color scheme I've chosen. Um, and the brown on the top square would be the brown leather of the Chesterfield sofa. And then I've got other shades of brown and this one in the middle here leans more towards orange. And then I've chosen blue green uh, colors. And these are actually on the opposite side of the color wheel like this, right? And um, I can actually um, use some pink or orange as an accent color. So this is a complementary color scheme where colors are on the opposite side of the color wheel. But if I branch out the top part here, it becomes a split complementary color scheme. So this reds or, you know, even pinks or magenta can be used as an accent color. Not too much though, okay? So back to our photograph. Um, so what I've done here is that I've got this brown Chesterfield. I've got this blue of this armchair. I've got a rug, which is blue green again, right? But there's this, you know, circular spiral of yellow on the rug and that matches with the yellow of the cushion. And I've got more circular shapes um, on the coffee table. And the coffee table is made of very luxurious materials. It's, it's, it's made of marble and it's got gold on it, right? To kind of bring out the luxurious living and lifestyle that is so much associated with the Chesterfield. And I've got some vintage consoles here, table consoles and media consoles with, you know, gold inlaid with gold stripes or strips, okay? And it's made of wood right you can see the wood grains it looks very classical very vintage but quite modern as well because i've got all this artwork on the wall i've got this nice decorative piece of mirror and i've got nice cushions uh, or ottomans on the two sides and that is makes the, the this wall look very symmetrical and i've got also matching table lamps okay and then of course on the other side um I've got open shelves and I've got the television, of course, not to mention. Okay, I've also added some mess in there because remember that you always, always need to consider your own things when you're uh, establishing or setting up your interior decor. So I've got this very nice modern piece of chandelier on top, right, to, just to give it a modern touch. So you can see how I've used all the colors I've chosen in the room. I've got this nice backdrop here. I purposely positioned the Chesterfield um, against the balcony so that the uh, plants on the balcony can serve as a, what we call a almost natural backdrop. So it looks quite boho aesthetic as well as classical. Okay, so you can see the walls here. Um, I've added an urban touch. It's uh, actually brick patterned um, glossy ceramic tiles. Just to give that urban industrial look into the room as well. Right, just a touch, right, just a touch. Um, because we want to, you know, we want both modern and classical to coexist in this particular uh, home decor. All right. So, just to show you how it looks like in the rest of the house, I did not really work on the rest of the house, but I made sure that I added some basic colors which match the color scheme of the living room. But you can see that. 
Um, the rest of the house, I left it quite modern and minimalist. I did not want the kitchen to be too colorful. It is very neutral. And the dining room um, actually can, has the colors of the living room and a touch of blue over here as well. And the, living, the dining room chairs are upholstered with the leather um, that you see on the Chesterfield. So there's some association and connection between the living room and the dining room. And then there's of course a doorway. I've added um, you know, some doorway or entryway furnishing here, which is quite eclectic as well and quite classical. And the door is quite classical. But on the left side, you see it's quite interestingly, interestingly, you know, I think we're always working out at home nowadays. I've added what we call a sports or a fitness corner with a mirror and a little lamb. And, and here you can't see it's a little poof or a bench where you can sit down and do your, you know, arm weights, right? And then yoga mats at the bottom, all right? Okay, just to show you what it looks like from the kitchen, right? And this is the dining room, which is um, quite interesting as well. I've got this quite a vintage piece of um, cabinet here, which is very sparsely uh, decorated. And you see, can see the, the, the dining room is very uh, minimalist, okay? But it's got this very interesting vintage looking uh, chandelier here but you can see how that contrasts with the uh, living room how that contrasts with the living room the living room is you know style in a classical fashion but the chandelier is quite modern whereas the dining room is styled in a very minimalist modern fashion but the chandelier is quite classical so you can see how um, each room associates with one another with each other and it's sort of like uh, interact in very interesting ways right so last but not least, I'm going to show you around the flat in a panoramic view. Um, the rest of it, you can see I've got this nice um, pink vase here. Remember I said that I wanted to add magenta or red or pink accents. You can see that on the uh, wall art. You can see that on the vase here. Very, very slight dash of accents and maybe even the yoga mat. Not too much of it. Okay, so and then I'm going to show you the entryway. Um, that's got a nice classical piece of furniture there, some plants, um, artwork, nice door, and then you've got this carpet or rug um, at the entryway. It's very welcoming, very warm and very welcoming. Okay, so then the kitchen, which is very modern with those nice bar lights, uh, very modern again, and then you've got this, um, you know, kitchen, sorry, dining room, the dining room with a nice vintage chandelier and very Art Deco vase in blue, right? Just a dash of blue. It's a very nice, soothing color here. And it's again, this gray, green, blue vase here. And this furniture is, it matches the furniture and cabinets in the living room, but slightly different. All right, so that's the entire flat. This is again, it's the size of a BTO executive condominium so that everyone, including myself, can relate to this interior decor. It's possible, so please give it a try. Any questions, just send me a message about interior decor and how to use accessories to add accents and colour into your room. All right, ciao, Bella.